All right, over here in Substance Painter, I'm going to click New. I'm not using the UV tile workflow. There's my model. And I will now bake the mesh maps. Do it at 2K. You know, it's not very high resolution. I can tell that by the, the checkout pattern on there. Um, but we'll see what the model looks like after it's been baked. It's pretty quick this way rather than using all the UV tiles. Um, I don't see any discoloration uh, or you know any of the UVs overlapping, so I think we're okay to give it a go. All right, so let's do it this way. Let's go for plastic. Let's take this plastic glossy this time and drop that in. That should be a default uh, material. That's just in materials, not a smart material. All right, let's come back here. Maybe we'll bring the roughness up just a little bit so it's not quite as shiny. Let's change this to like, maybe we'll go for like a yellowish orange this time. Well, let's try that and see, see if we like it. Okay, I'm gonna right click and add a filter now. And that filter is going to be this matte finish. So you can see what that's done sort of darkened it up, made it kind of um, dusty or something along that line. Okay, so we've got that in there. Okay, so that's my main base layer. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my materials and I'm going to take this steel rust. We'll try that one. We'll put that in there. Put a black mask on it come over to my polygon fill under mesh and click all the things that i would want to have in metal so it's going to be all these bolts it's going to be very simple texturing for this model all right so we've got those pieces there good Okay, my next one, I am going to use a smart material, and it's going to be rubber. I'm going to look for this uh, plastic rubber. Drop that on. I'll just put that at the top there. So I'll select there. It's You can't really see much difference between that and the metal uh, to some extent, but that's going to go on there. And let's try just adding dirt in general like we always do with a fill layer and color and roughness with the roughness all the way up and switch this to a dark brown add a black mask and then a generator and we'll just use a dirt generator and it'll be pretty intense at first I'll just bring it back and that's the kind of look that I'm going for so somewhat used but not too bad that really darkens up the metal and puts that sort of occlusion kind of look and I, I like that so I'm happy with that so we'll leave that dirt there I'll just label that as dirt and I'm going to come under the dirt and we'll add just a few alphas so I'm going to create a regular paint layer and I'm going to use only height for now drop the height down about a third somewhere around there I'm going to turn on orth ortho orthographic and snap it to the side and also symmetry and the symmetry is going to be in the Z and then I'll come to my alphas and I'm going to choose a screw or bolt and I'll use this one that I have you can use anything that works for you and I'm going to click there so the resolution is a little bit low but we're going to be upping that and I'm going to click here I'm also going to come in here. I'm going to increase the size. And we'll see what the, it looks like if I was to put something in there. I think I want that there. And um, maybe on top we'll just make it smaller. Do something there. Just, just you know, we have a little bit of detail uh, in terms of that. I could put something down here as well. Very small. I'll just do that you won't really see it much this just looks like an indentation with the resolution the way it is 
All right, I'm going to take off symmetry and snap it to the front. And still with the parameters that I've got, I'm going to type in lines. And this is another default um, alpha. I'm just going to bring it to there, bring that up. And I thought right on here, I would do that. So I have that there. And I think I'm going to go back to symmetry and we'll type in arrow. And I'll get this one. And let's just see, it's, yeah, it's pointing down, that's good. We'll come in here and just put something there. Okay. That's good. And then now I'll turn that off and let's just bring that back. Let's type in dots. We got to use these, right? <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll come down and I think I will add color this time and close to black. And let's uh, see, we'll snap it in like this. And I was thinking that uh, right behind here, I'll just, I would do that. Um, yeah, and I don't know if there's anything else that I want to do. Yeah, there is one more, actually. I take it back, and uh, I'll look for arrows. Um, these ones. But, but I can take off color, actually, for this one, I think. And I'll just bring this down here like this. Uh, no, I won't. Not there. The other way. I thought maybe it, maybe it put put this on here. Right about there. All right. So let's get some dirt uh, to work in there. So this is going to be my alpha layer. And I'm going to add an anchor point to that. So it'll be called alpha. Come back to the dirt generator. Scroll down under micro details. Micro height will be true. And select the alpha and change this to height. And some of the dirt will go in there. Let's go back to perspective view and F to frame it. Let's hit the tab button to come up. And let's turn on. Uh, Temporal anti-aliasing could do color profile. I think I'll leave that off for now. But this is this is what we come up with. Okay. Now I will uh, up the resolution to 2K, and just that'll just make the bolts look a little sharper. So, you know, uh, a combination of smart UV project and Q project, uh, all the same, all easy to do and we get a pretty good uh, result out of that i mean it's not called smart uv project for nothing it is pretty smart and it can do a good job depending on what you need to do all right so there is my textured uh, stapler all right so that's going to end this little mini series of two videos one for modeling one for texturing i've got other simple office related um, um, models coming up so hopefully you'll turn you'll tune in for that so we'll see you soon